From the same team that brought you Adalite, Wing Riders, and the integration of Cardano to the Ledger and the Trezor hardware wallets comes NuFi, a multi-chain wallet that lets you manage your funds and your NFTs on Cardano, Ethereum, and more. Let's take a look together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, let's take a look at the NuFi wallet. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, come on, another wallet. Why do we need so many? And to be honest, this one's flown under my radar for a while now. But I got to admit, they've got some really cool features here that I think might be unique across the Cardano ecosystem. We can use the same wallet to manage not only our Cardano assets, but multiple assets across multiple chains. We can stake across those different chains. You can view NFTs from different blockchains, not just Cardano. You can buy and swap different assets, both. Cardano native assets and multi-blockchain assets all straight from the wallet. And a really clever feature, if you're interacting with a Cardano dApp that doesn't have NuFi support, using their wallet emulation feature, you can have it pretend it's a different wallet so you can still interact with that dApp. A lot of cool stuff, so let's jump in. NuFi is brought to us by Vacuum Labs, and if that sounds familiar, it's because they're the same team that put together the Ada Light wallet, which we've done videos on in the past. They're also the ones that put together the Wing Riders decks. And Vacuum Labs is the team that's responsible for the Ledger and Trezor integration with Cardano. The fact that you can use your hardware wallet with Cardano, that integration was done by the Vacuum Labs team. So they have a lot of experience in the Cardano ecosystem, both with making light wallets as well as the low-level hardware integrations with the hardware wallets themselves. And that experience and background has really shown in this wallet. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get it installed. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is come to new.fi. Once you're there, you can use the web wallet, but I highly recommend for all of these things to always use the browser extension. So let's go ahead and install the browser extension. I'm going to go ahead and add it to Brave. Cool. So once it's been added, let's come here and pick it so we always have it accessible. Okay, and let's go ahead and open up our new file wallet. Okay, so at this step, similar to what we would expect for any light wallet, we can create a new software wallet. We can restore from an existing software wallet. But what we're going to do today is we're going to pair our Ledger Nano X. But if you're going to be creating a new wallet or restoring an existing one, this will be the only thing that's different for you. Everything else inside the app will be exactly the same. So go ahead and either create a brand new software wallet, restore one that you already have, or you can pair your hardware wallet like we're about to do. But once you get past that initial point, we'll all be on the same page and we'll keep going from there. Okay, cool. So they clarify something here. What we're first going to do is we're going to make a top level new file wallet. We're going to call this new file wallet, whatever we want. And then underneath there, we'll be able then to make our hardware wallet integrated with Cardano or Ethereum or whatever else. So let's say got it. So let's go ahead and just call this Woodland Pools and agree and continue. So now let's put a password. There's a nice security feature to have because even though you need your hardware wallet, the physical device to confirm any transactions, it's a nice peace of mind knowing that you'll need a password to get into the UI to even and see your balances and try and initiate a transaction. So go ahead and enter a strong top level wallet password and click continue. Okay, so this is where if we were making a software wallet, definitely make sure you create this recovery phrase, write it down somewhere safe on multiple copies. For us, we're gonna be using a hardware wallet and we're only using our hardware wallet inside of NuFi. So we're gonna continue without recovery phrase. Okay, so here we have some release notes. Let's go ahead and close this. And now we are inside of our NuFi wallet. They see here that we wanna pair a hardware wallet. We're gonna do that up here. So we click on got it. So now let's click on add new hardware accounts. We have have a Ledger Nano S and we want to start by adding Cardano. Let's click on continue. The Ledger is set up and connected. Let's click on I've set up my Ledger. All right, I'm going to confirm on the device here. You might also get a pop up up here. So have a look out for that where it says Ledger X paired. You might have to click on that and click confirm. All right, so I'm going to click on this first account and click continue. Let's call it the Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X and click continue. All right, so we are good to go. Let's start using these accounts. Okay, so give this a second. When you have sort of this flashing space mountain screen here, let that go. What it's doing right now is it's pulling up all of the assets that are on this wallet for Cardano, both ADA and any other non ADA assets. It's going to sync them with the blockchain and display them all here. So give this a couple of minutes. We'll do the same and then we'll go from there. Okay, cool. It looks like it loaded them up here and I have a bunch of assets that are hidden down here. I have some world mobile tokens. Here are my different books from book.io. So now let's take a look around because there's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do here. As I showed here, I have some world mobile tokens, but let's say I wanted to buy some more. I can come here to where it says wing riders and click on here, click on agree to the terms and conditions and click on continue. Okay, we have some explanations of what a DEX is. So this is nice because it's the same team that makes wing riders makes this wallet. We have wing riders now built in natively into our wallet. How cool is that? So we can click on swap, give this a second to load up. Now I'm going to come here and I'll select ADA and say that I want to swap ADA. I'm going to click on this one here. And I noticed there's a little bit of a lag here. So I clicked on this, just give it a second. It will load up the other assets. There we go. And I'm going to click on world mobile tokens. And let's just say that I want to swap 
20 ADA, and I'll get me another 37 World Mobile tokens. Wow, these fees are really high, so four ADA to swap 20 of them. I probably wouldn't normally wouldn't do this swap, but for the sake of this demo, let's do it. So I'm gonna click on submit. All right, I'm gonna, here I see uh, how many ADA I'm spending, how many World Mobile tokens I'm getting, the fees that I'm paying. I can see some more details here and everything else that's going on. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. I'm gonna confirm on my device. Great, so our swap is in flight. We can click on view and explore. And it's going to open C Explorer, and we can see the transaction for the swap. So here's our transaction detail for our swap. This is where we sent out the 24 ADA to the smart contract address. If we come back to our wallet, let's dismiss this. And here's our swap request that's in flight right now. So this is currently being submitted to the smart contract. It's going to facilitate the swap, and when it's done, it'll send it back. So we'll let that finish up, but let's continue looking around. Here's our staking section, which we would expect from any Cardano wallet. The cool thing here, though, is that you can stake on multiple chains, Cardano, Solana, and Flow. This wallet's already delegated, but if I come to my staking, I can see here that this wallet is delegated to the Aspen stake pool. And this is a new wallet. Here's where you would select your stake pool. Or if you have another stake pool and you want to change, you can click on change validator. Now here for staking pool, they auto select their own. They have nine different stake pools. I think this team is doing really great work, but I would personally recommend going with a single stake pool operator if you can. So here you would do a search for whatever stake pool you want to delegate to. So here we see our pool, the Aspen pool by Woodland Pools. You would click on continue and then just click submit, confirm on your device and then you would delegate to that pool. By the way, it looks like my World Mobile tokens came in. If I come to Portfolio and click on World Mobile, I can see that my new 37 World Mobile tokens just came in, so that's cool. Now, the new Fi Wallet has what they call wallet emulation. So let me go to settings here and I'll show you. It can emulate or pretend to be the Flint or the Eternal Wallet. And so now I have both the Flint and the Eternal Wallets, but let's go to my tab settings here. I just wanna show you for this example. Let me turn off Flint and Eternal. And now if I come to Sunday Swap and click on Enter App and click on Connect Wallet. Now, let's say I did not have the Eternal or the Flint wallets, I just turned them off, right? So let me click on Eternal, for example. And then how cool is this? The new Fi wallet pops up pretending to be Eternal. So it basically can do the exact same interface as the Eternal and the Flint wallet can and emulate those wallets. So I'll enter here. I'm going to connect this account. There we go. Connected to Eternal. So now Sunday Swap thinks it is connected to an Eternal wallet when really it's connected to my new Fi wallet. How cool is that? And in this case, I already had them. But this is nice, especially as they add more emulation options. For example, a lot of people were complaining that Jed only had NAMI support, for example. So as they add more emulation options, this will give you more ways to be able to use just the same single wallet and interact with several Cardano dApps on the ecosystem. But everything we've looked at up till now is all the kind of stuff that we've seen before from other Cardano light wallets, where you can do some different kinds of swaps and staking and all these things on the Cardano blockchain. Let's take a look at some of the cool stuff that we can do on other blockchains. Let's go ahead and add an Ethereum account to our Ledger hardware wallet. So I'm gonna click on add new accounts. In your Ledger hardware wallet, if you're logged into the Cardano app, make sure you quit out of there. Then here we're going to click on Ledger Nano X. And now for the blockchain, we're going to select Ethereum and click on continue. Our ledger has been set up. All right, we're going to do this first account. Then let's call this the Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X. Because it's still our ledger, we're just using it for Ethereum now. Okay, cool. So now we see we have now two different blockchains on here. We have our Cardano one that had our 400 ADA and our brand new ETH account. We can see that I have some Ethereum here in this wallet. Let's say I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to have any more Ethereum. I only want to have ADA. I can come here to swap crypto. Unfortunately, what I noticed here was if I fill this in, uh, I'm going to go from one of my accounts to another, from my Ethereum account to my Cardano account. Now this is unfortunately going to be for those who are not in the United States or any other restricted country because they use Changely here. So if I click on continue, they have a restricted countries list here. If I click on this, uh, it looks like for whatever reason, the United States are on the restricted list. So that sucks. But if you're not in the US, you can do swaps directly from here. So let's go ahead and click out of here. If you want to buy more assets, if you want to buy more ADA, for example, you can click on buy and sell. And this one does not matter if you're in the United States. You can click on buy, sell, click on MoonPay. Here on MoonPay, you say how much you want to buy. So let's say, for example, I want to buy some ADA. Yeah, say I want to buy 100 ADA. It tells you how much it's going to be. You click continue. They're going to have you do a little bit of KYC and then it'll go straight to your new Fi wallet. And the other cool thing that I really like about this is that now that I have multiple addresses all in the same place, for example, Book.io recently minted their first couple of mints on multi-chain. So all of these have been on Cardano, but they just minted Alice in Wonderland on Ethereum. So if I click on mint now on Ethereum, let's say I want to get two books and click on continue. But for this, let's do pay with credit card. And if I do that, you see how it asks for a MetaMask address. Now the problem I have with MetaMask is that MetaMask is only a software wallet. I want to use my hardware wallet. I want to have that extra security. So here where it says MetaMask address, instead of putting a MetaMask address, we can come to NuFi, come to our Ethereum account, click on receive, copy your address. Then we paste in here our Ethereum address where it says MetaMask, click on continue, enter our payment information, and this would work exactly the same as if we actually had a MetaMask address. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and buy these books. I'm going to click on continue and enter my payment information and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now that I've made my payment, check this out. If I 
come to NFTs, I can view here my Cardano NFTs. That's kind of what we would have expected. I can see all the NFTs that are in my wallet. But check this out. If I switch to Ethereum, I can now see my two Alice in Wonderland books on the Ethereum blockchain all in the same NuFi wallet. How cool is that? Very well done to the NuFi team. I was actually specifically trying to figure out how I can get Alice in Wonderland without being forced to make a MetaMask account. And I think this is a fantastic way to be able to have the same kind of interaction with an Ethereum blockchain, but with the security of your Ledger hardware wallet. An absolute best of both worlds. Native multi-token support for Cardano, swap different assets back and forth, buy and sell assets straight from your wallet, stake to your preferred stake pool, do Cardano swaps with wing riders, and emulate different wallets wallets all from the same place. Let me know your favorite features of the new Fi wallet and if I missed any important ones. And if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.